Hello, ABAP developers. Welcome to another edition of the TechBytes series on ABAP Cloud. The previous TechBytes series was on ABAP Core Data Services, and in this series, me and Sheena will walk you through the basics of ABAP RESTful Application Programming Model in short run. So let us check how to expose a standard ABAP CDS view in ABAP environment so that it can be consumed by other systems. Interact or exchange data between the two systems, there are a set of communication management apps. Most importantly, it will allow you to establish a secure connection between the two systems. Now you can see the communication arrangement has details about the user, system, and the inbound or the outbound services. In order to post the data or um, interact, the solutions have to authenticate themselves using user ID and password that will be defined in the communication user. Now, once you have the user, you will be assigning it to a communication system, which will have the details about the system. Now, there can be inbound or the outbound communication, depending on whether uh, the system is providing you the service or whether you're calling the service. In the communication scenario, you add the inbound or the outbound services, depending on the business process. Now, an inbound service is a web API that can be based on a business object. An outbound service is a web API that you would integrate into your solution. So now you have a user which will authenticate the solution that is added to the system, which has the details about the system. It can be, as I said, whether the system is providing a service or whether you are calling the service, whether it's an inbound or the outbound communication. And then you have a communication scenario wherein you provide the details of the services, whether it's an inbound service or the outbound service. Now, all this info is bundled in the communication arrangement, which is based on a communication scenario. Now, let us see a demo on how a standard of apps here is, is exposed using communication arrangement. For the demo, I'll be using I underscore currency and I'll be exposing that CDS view. You have to, I'll be using BTP ABAP environment. You need to have the licensed version because we'll be creating a communication user system and the arrangement. So um, create a package and I have created a, a ABAP package here. And now let's, let us check I underscore currency. You can use control shift A and since it is um, a CDS view, the type is DDLS for data definition, and then you can give I underscore currency. You can see the data preview by pressing function F8, and there are uh, some data related with the currency and the currency code. So now this is the uh, standard CDS view. Let us check the API state. And you can see here uh, the contract has been set for C1 uh, release state. And now let us create a service definition. Click on new service definition. Give a name and a description, choose a valid transport request, and then click on finish. Give the name of the data source. You can also specify the alias. Save it and activate. So choose the same service definition, right click, and then create service binding. So here we are going to bind whether it should be a ODA V2 service or a V4 service. Let us give the name. The binding type I'm using ODA V4 UI. Service definition is already selected. Choose a valid transport request and then click on finish. Activate the service binding and then publish it. Now the service is published. You can see the entity set that comes up over here. You have an option to preview. And let's click on the preview that opens in the Fiori app. Click on settings and choose the columns. So you can see the same data that we had seen when we did the data preview of the uh, ABAP series view, that is I underscore currency. Let us go back to ADT. And since we have the Odata V4 service, which is active and published, now let us go back. Um, let us create a communication scenario so that we are going to expose this uh, Odata service. Click on new other ABAP repository object, communication scenario. It will be there under communication management. Give a name and a description. Choose a transport request and click finish. Go to the inbound tab underneath here. And then we are going to add an inbound service. Since we want to expose this uh, uh, service for the external consumption, this will be an inbound service. And then now browse here and then add the service, the OData service that has been created. You can see here the suffix as G4BA. This is because we have created as the OData V4 service and that uh, suffix is G4BA. In case you choose OData V2 service, then the suffix will be IWSG. So choose the OData service that you have created and click finish, save it, and then publish locally. 
You can see here there is a tab authorizations where you can add the details of the authorization object which you want to restrict the data. So once the communication scenario is published, we'll be creating the communication arrangement. For that, we need the communication user and the communication system. So that will be created in the Fury Launchpad. Choose the system and then right click to get the details of the Fury Launchpad. Under ABAP development, you have the system URL. Click on it to launch the FLP. Once you have logged into the Fury Launchpad, click on search for communication user. So you have this app maintain communication users, launch it, click on new, give a username and description. So we have created the user with the user ID and password, which will be used for authentication and hence it has to be used in the communication system. So now let's go back and search for communication system. So click on new communication system. So since this is an inbound communication, that means the system is exposing the service. Give the information about the system under host name. Once the host name is entered, and then let's go to the user for inbound communication. And here, let us add the user that we created. So in the communication system, we have given the details of um, the host name of the system, as well as we have defined that it's an inbound communication with the authentication as username and password that has been created in the communication user. And now this information, let us uh, add it in the communication arrangement. Click on new and the communication arrangement is based on the communication scenario that we have created in the ABAP development tools. Browse for it. So we have uh, chosen the communication scenario. Now let us choose the communication system. So the ZI currency, that is a system that has been chosen. Once you choose the system, the details about uh, the inbound communication where we had uh, chosen the user also appears. So this is all fine. Now let us save this. So once the communication arrangement is activated, you can check here the service URL that gets generated. So basically this takes the information about uh, the system host that you define in the communication system, as well as the details of uh, the service that is input in the communication scenario. And you have the metadata file over here, which is a form of an ADMX file, which will be required when this uh, service needs to be called by another system. In this way, using communication arrangement, you can expose a standard above CDS view for consumption in other system. A quick recap of whatever we did so far in the demo. We wanted to expose a standard ABAP CDS view for consumption in the other external system. So for that, first you have to choose the ABAP CDS view. In our case, we chose I underscore currency and then created a service definition where we are exposing this I underscore currency and then just gave the alias name. Once you define a service, uh, once you define a service definition, and then under service binding, we are going to tell whether it is a ODATA V2 or a V4 service. Then create a communication scenario, give the authentication method as basic, and then you define that it is an inbound scenario because we are going to uh, expose the service. In the Fury Launchpad, first you create a communication user and also give the authentication method whether it's a user ID and password. Now the same user and password should be used in the other external system when you are consuming it. So in the demo, we are just showing the inbound communication and just exposing the OData service. So after that, you will have to, for this particular user, uh, you have to give the details of the system. So that is defined in the communication system where you define uh, what is the host name of the system, which you are exposing the service. Once you have the system and the user details, you have to give the input in the communication arrangement and uh, you finally get the EDMX, the metadata file. Uh, which has the details of the communication scenario where you would have mentioned the inbound service. This is the end of the demo and I hope this was useful to understand the basic of the communication management, how you create a user system, communication arrangement and the communication scenario. And uh, see you in the next week series. Thank you.